got the camera stand here at uh, Furious Island 2018. I'm joined by Mark, uh, Mark Hens. So Mark, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. And uh, I think the big news from Kenwood seems to be at the moment, we've got this new, this new shiny rig, the TS-890. So um, what can you tell us about it? We're all very excited about this, this new radio. So uh, the TS-890 is a brand new HF 50 meg, 70 meg transceiver. It's based on the down conversion technology of um, using the roofing filters, four roofing filters built into the radio. Um, and yes, as you said, it's our latest um, offering and uh, we'll be hitting the shelves very soon. Excellent. Now, one of the things we've seen from some of the other manufacturers is the use of SDR technology. And I believe this has got a different architecture. Can you perhaps talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so one of the issues with SDR that um, can be seen is on a crowded 40 meter band, for instance, where you've got S9 plus signals and also very close by AM signals, um, just above 7200, you get this ADC overflow issue and that requires backing off the attenuator and RF gain adjustment. So Kenwood are still very passionate about the traditional architecture of down conversion. And that's what this radio is. It's, it's using down conversion and the roofing filters to achieve exceptional receive performance. And uh, we have on the poster, for those of you that have seen the poster, we, we make a, a very strong point of the three measurements um, of the receiver performance. And this puts it as a world-class receiver. Okay, and well, so how does it compare to the rest of the range? Obviously, there's the flagship TS990. Whereabouts does this sort of fit into the, into the range that Kenwood are you know, putting out there? So we have the TS590, uh, which follows the 5 Series, and the 990 and the 9 Series, so it followed the TS950, which has always been the flagship HF base station. The TS890 is the 8 Series, so it's a 100-watt radio, and... Um, is smaller than the TS990. It looks very similar to the 990, so it, it still has the, the large uh, touchscreen uh, in higher definition on the 890 than the 990. But the 890 kind of sits on its own, its own little bubble really, because um, it has actually a superior receiver um, using latest technology, so we can achieve a very good receiver. But also it has four meters, uh, the four meter band, 70 megahertz as well. Um, so it, it's kind of not really between the two radios in terms of uh, all aspects, but in, in some ways it's far superior, so it kind of sits on its own. Um, and that's one of the reasons we're incredibly excited about the 890, because of that, su that extremely superior receiver. Yeah, good to see four meters as well making it making an entrance. Uh, seems to be quite popular, there seems to be a few rigs for the manufacturers that, that support four meters, uh, especially in Europe, that's quite uh, nice to see. The, the, the four meter uh, option is on the European uh, model only right. um, because obviously four meters at this time is not um, a valid band in the US for amateurs and also Japan and even still many European countries. But as the years go on, more and more countries are obtaining four meters. Um, so it makes sense for us to uh, introduce a radio with that band. That's really good. And in terms of availability, when will this be uh, available to people to, people to buy? We expect the first production month to be August, so availability in September for um, uh, end customers to actually purchase. So we'll also be in time for our national ham fest in the UK by the end of September. Okay, cool, so we can see it at Newton. That's fantastic. And just one last question, um, remote capability has been able to plug it into the internet. Is that, is that something that's built into the rig? It has a very user-friendly remote capability. So. There's a LAN port on the back of the radio which allows you to plug in uh, direct from the radio to um, a router. So no need for a PC, you can just go straight over the internet from the back of the radio. That's great. So Mark, if anybody wants more information, whereabouts would they go to? So our website's www.kenwoodcommunications.com. Um, you can contact me. I've, I'm more than happy for to accept direct emails. Mark.haynes at UK jvckenwood.com um, alternatively stay tuned to our Facebook page Kenwood, um, Kenwood Ham Radio um, and uh, also look at the, uh, the magazines because we're all putting adverts in the magazines very shortly. Perfect, that's great. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you.